Bismillah walhamdulillah wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah wa ala alihi wa sahbi ajma'in amma ba'd. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Hello brothers and sisters. 안녕하세요. 다우드 김입니다. Today I will talk about the opener of Holy Quran, Surah Tulfatiha. Actually, every Muslims have to recite this surah every day because we have to pray and we always recite this surah when we start the prayer. So this is really, really important surah Muslims have to know. But not every people deeply understand this surah because like me, I'm not an Arabic speaker, so I don't know what does it mean exactly. So I will talk about this today. I learned this from Korean Imam a few days ago, so I will leave you this. Okay, then firstly, I recite. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إذن الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين 자비로우시고 자애로우신 하나님의 이름으로 온 우주의 주인이신 하나님께 찬미를 드리나이다. 그분은 자비로우시고 자애로우시며 심판의 날을 주관하시도다. 우리는 당신에게만 경배하오며 당신에게만 구원을 비오니 저희들을 올바른 길로 인도하여 주시옵소서. 그 길을 당신께서 축복을 내리신 길이며 노여움을 받는 자나 방황하는 자들이 걷지 않은 가장 올바른 길로 인도하여 주십시오. Okay, then I will explain a little bit. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. Alhamdulillah, bil alamin. Praise to Allah, the Lord of the whole world. So it means we must pray Allah with our love and obedience. And the praise includes Allah's attributes, actions, and blessings, everything, etc. And the Lord means the Almighty Allah, the owner, creator, and provider, disposer. He is the only master of the whole universe. Yeah, the Lord of the words. Ar-Rahman Ibrahim, the beneficent, the merciful. So the Ar-Rahman means most beneficent, and Rahim means most merciful. Uh, these are two of Allah's names. So the important point is that we never give up with Allah's mercy. In any situations. Next, Maliki Yaumitin, Master of the Day of Judgment. He is the only judge of Day of Judgment. This reminds us of the last day and also makes us do good things, the good deeds. You alone we worship, you alone we ask for help. So it means we only worship Allah, right? We don't associate anyone with Allah in worship. We only ask Allah's assistance and support. The power of decisions rests with Allah only. Guide us on the straight path. Uh, it means like, show us the straight path and help us to adhere to it until we meet you, Allah. So we should pray to Allah to lead us on the right path until the day of judgment. Always. Just keep going and going. Sirat al-ladina an'amta alayhim. The path of those you have blessed. This path is for those who know the truth and follow it. And the Almighty Allah always give a great blessing in this path. Oh, and the last. The path of those upon whom you have bestowed favor, not of those who have evoked your anger or of those who are astray. Oh, it's very difficult in English. But, but it means... Like Allah is angry with those who know the truth but don't follow it, right? So we should not go their way. And we also should not go the path of those who are lost. Uh, for many reasons, there are many people who don't know the truth, so we should not go their way either. The only straight path we should go is only the way Allah has given us. 
Yes. <laughs> so this is the meaning of the Al Fatiha. I hope this would help you and me. And I hope we can understand this surah deeply. And I hope we can close to Allah day by day. Then I'm done. Thank you for watching my video. May Allah bless you. Take care and be safe. Alhamdulillah. Ma salama. Kamsa